Good morning. How is everyone doing? I must showcase my great t-shirt. Oh, classically trained. <laughs> morning. How is everyone yeah. doing? I must so, showcase my great t-shirt. My morning oh, uh, is classically okay. trained. I'm a bit tired, but uh, ready to go. Good morning, Paul, Kuru, Mila, Tormod, Svensson, Georg. My morning. Right. Uh, it's okay. That's a classy t shirt. I'm a bit tired. That's for sure. But, uh, ready to go. Uh, so, throw me some topics. Let's do it. Tormod, Svensson, Georg. I'm hearing someone talking. Right. That's a classic t shirt. That's for sure. Oh no. Twitch was on. Heretic Space Marine Steampunk Final Boss Toxic. Toxic Pregnancy, Catapult, Carrier, Dormant, Sentinel. Um, yeah, I switched take off. It shouldn't be anymore. Um, one, two, three, four, five. One more topic. Snake person. Number three. Not number four. So number three is toxic pregnancy. That's pretty cool. And I, I do believe, Linus, that that is your first topic. Toxic pregnancy by Linus Carlson. All right. Toxic pregnancy. Toxic pregnancy. Hmm. Toxic pregnancy. For me, I, I just started thinking about some like insertion of some toxic, but I don't think that's 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 fair. Toxic pregnancy. Pregnancy that is not good for you. Hmm. Pregnancy that melts you, poisons you, that makes you toxic. Toxic pregnancy. All right, I got a picture in my head. Let's do it. So the idea, what happened was, I came up with the idea of um, uh, a person being um, attacked by a parasite and the parasite attached itself to the torso um, the picture I had was it that it looks like it's stapled itself through the body right so I'm assuming it's some sort of um, jumping parasite as it's charged, it like charged and jumps through the body. Um, but uh, yeah, so my idea was, or what I what I envisioned uh, with toxic pregnancy is that it it attaches right and it makes it almost into like a a zombie, the host, and. Uh, as it attach, attaches itself to like the torso, it'll start breathing for it, uh, the, instead of the host. And uh, the host uh, breathes out um, like uh, toxic smoke, right? So um, maybe 
Uh, now this is this is uh, just me continuing the idea. Maybe um, the idea is is that uh, these uh, parasites. They um, have you ever seen of those? Um, Hey, good morning, Captain Jetlag. Uh, have you seen those, um, this um, plant? Um, now, I don't know the English name for it. I only know the Swedish name, and that's not going to help anyone except Ines Carlson, I'm assuming. Um, but it's like a, a flower, and as soon as you touch it, the seeds explode out like it's like really really ready to 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 pop um, and the kind of the idea of that flower I guess is that if it's hit by rain or whatever um, it just shoots the seeds out in an explosion not a fire explosion but like they're catapulted right um, so maybe so the idea here that maybe um, The, the the parasite grows like a plant and um, and they are all kind of stacked like a pine cone and uh, as soon as there's a like break in the air air or, or it's being touched or triggered somehow um, all the seeds explode out and kind of in the hope of, of nailing uh, nailing a living thing right because something had had to be there in order to to trigger maybe it's some sort of it like a shark that can smell smell blood or whatever and, and uh, start aiming I don't know I don't know but this is this is just me picking shit up um, But that, I think that would be a cool kind of like idea, like as a part of a game or a movie, like these weird looking plants. And as soon as you get close, and it's just and, and perforates and then kind of grows, grows into the correct position, taking over, um, taking over the system. And just making the hose, the hose, uh, like a walking seed bank, maybe, um, so that when the the hose is kind of walking around smoking, um, part of it, uh, not all the time probably, but uh, seasonally or, or or at times, the the parasite generates seeds, more seeds. That's airborne, like pollination. Um, so it's like a, a feedback loop. That as soon as they get a living thing, they can grow their their colony. And this and this uh, living thing that's become taken over um, kind of patrols the the surroundings and looks for more living things, um, and kind of cultivates the the <laughs> the parasite farm. I don't know. I think that would be cool. Yeah. So hence the pregnancy, because I'm 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 am thinking it's some sort of incubation period as well. You know, like it's not just uh, a monster, right? It has to find and and in 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 impregnate. So let's let's think about what the thing needs to do. Maybe like it would be cool. Maybe it traps the arms. So it's just like a walking. Walking baby factory. That it impregnates the surroundings. Yeah, let's do that. Let's, let's see where that leads. Uh, 
I think like visually it could be cool with these spines um, or, or uh, I mean nails that have gone through the flesh you know like um, keeping everything in place and these these uh, external lungs like breathing I don't know that could be cool I want to do something more interesting with the legs. What if, as it's toxic, right? Maybe um, part of it is that as it's walking around the surroundings, um, obviously it's kind of cutting its legs. Um, because I'm assuming these plants are not soft. Uh, the, that hosts these parasites. So maybe, like as they're walking around, cutting uh, and breaking, you know, like plants uh, or the stem of some some tentacles or whatever that, that this plant might 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 have, uh, like some sort of uh, connecting mesh between plants, uh, as it's probably a colony. Um, could be cool that it, when uh, you get a cut, it already starts to kind of. slightly take over your flesh but because it's not uh, a host uh, in that sense that there is a parasite impregnating anything uh, it's just uh, corrupting the flesh right because of the acid or the toxicity maybe it's just kind of armoring up the, the 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 flesh that it's reacting in an autoimmune system um, response like so that the legs usually become like really armored, so it, it can walk around. So like it, the nature has found a solution for for how it won't just cut itself up and and, and die off. Could be cool, you know, like uh, some muscle mass left, and uh, but because it's um, like being armored, uh, and you could also cut into the bone more, you know, so that it's less flesh and just like corrupted bone. But the problem with that is is tendons, right? So maybe they don't have any. Uh, Tendons, maybe they're static and they'll be walking really, really awkwardly, like they're walking on stilts. I mean, they don't need to be agile, they just need to, uh, to pollinate. I think that would be cool. I think that could be animated weirdly as well. The top heavy stilt walking creature. And as it can't eat anymore, maybe it's just a kind of expelling the guts and stuff. Like it's the acid, the toxicity is melting the, the soft tissue of the abdomen and, and torso. Um, but of obviously keeping the heart and so on. Maybe they just kind of poop out their innards because they're just toxic. What, what what's the, the the thing? You can live forty days uh, on just water. Is that's the that's the general thing? So maybe it's just keeping it alive for the time being, and it's just walking around it. spreading the colony.
Hey, Gugsy. Hey, good morning. Toxic pregnancy. Yeah. Linus Carlson has a good topic today. An open enough, um, I'd say. So around about the halfway point, approximately. All right, it's pretty good. Not too bad. Would be would be nice to see the the hands. Does anyone, um, I could do the same treatment to the fingers, like, it's been trying to grab things or whatever, and it's just cutting the fingers and making it armored. Has anyone uh, seen um, Westworld? Uh, Gag 6. Yeah, it can. Sure. Uh, Gaxix is a really cool painter. I really like his artwork. So feel free to share your uh, your art, Gaxix. As I as I've known you for quite some time, I trust your link. Yeah, Michal, the Westworld is a, is a really unique um, TV show. They have really, I think, captured a really interesting uh, um, idea. And the, the solution to, to the premise is, is super smart. Um, for you who haven't seen it, it's a TV show about uh, amusement park, more or less, uh, where they have uh, like advanced robotics, uh, and it's a Western world. You can go for like vacation to fulfill all your needs you know it's like an experience park um, and you can do like, what like whatever you want there uh, it's all you know whatever you might think you could do in a western world you know visit brothels play poker have a shootout the general rule is like um, like normal people can't get hurt by these robots, right? There's a safety mechanism in there. So you can have a gunfight. The the robots, you know, like they can try to shoot you, but nothing will happen. And you can obviously just, you know, you will always win. So it's a really cool, cool premise. And the story about it is, is really cool. And if you haven't, you should really try to 
to start watching it. It's really cleverly made, really cool, unique. So if you have the, the chance, you should definitely start watching Westworld. Also, uh, if anyone's watching the TV show Vikings, if I'm not mistaken, um, the, the the season next season will start at the end of this month. If I'm not mistaken, that is what's going to happen, and I can't be more excited. I really love that TV show. Vikings is such a good TV show. At the beginning, I was kind of like, mm, it looks a little bit too much like a history show about the actual Vikings, you know, a little bit cheesy. But it went quickly into the kind of the right style of mood, and then as the the episodes continued, it just became more and more well made. And now it's like one of my all-time favorite TV shows. It's like the quality is so high. Um, not only the topic, but they made it not cheesy. You know, it's so easy to make it go. Just men reenacting Vikings. You know, like it's so huge. Props to the actors in that TV show. They 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 made it for sure uh, to what it is. I think it's two or three seasons. Um, I, I don't remember really how many. But it's a really cool TV show. I really like it. And it's based on um, on real events, which is even cooler. On real characters, more or less. Um, And knowing um, a lot of Viking history, there's some some cool stuff happening that's still going to happen. I mean, I'm, I'm assuming they're going for historical accuracy, more or less, when it comes to events, because they have so far. Maybe it is five seasons, Svensson. Could be. I don't remember at the moment how many seasons. There's many. There are many seasons, though. A lot of things have happened in that TV show. Oh, really? Haha, <laughs> thanks, Gaxix. Glad to be of some uh, help. By the way, I started starting to figure out uh, a pretty cool solution to. Um, Patreon. 
I'm going to try to work on it. Um, I don't really want to kind of I don't know. I guess I could talk about it, but I, I want to give it the more thoughts before like actually talking about it. I think so, Gaxix. I think I'm going to I want to try to kind of make it into my my character design class. And the general idea kind of I had was um, so instead of tiers, like traditionally, right, pay X amount more and you'll get X amount of content more, right? That's the general uh, tier based system, right? Um, but what I, what I kind of thought about, uh, like what would be a cool way to do it, is um, that each tier is just another tier of the class, right? So like tier one is actually not just it is not a tier; it's just step one, right? And uh, you can. Uh, Take which whatever part of the class you want, but ideally you'll take all tiers. You know, so you get the the best rounded uh, experience and knowledge. And I was thinking, each tier. You know, instead of me giving you actual content, which you will have. But it's like whoever buys that tier and they submit work, I will give them direct feedback on their work plus the, the class content. You know? I don't know. That's what I'm thinking so far. Hey, Kuiba. Welcome. What do you think about that? general idea. I think that's a pretty cool solution, no? Well, it's a fair solution, right? So, and then I was also going to have, like, the first tier is just be a supporter, you know, if you want to just kind of contribute with money. Uh, Svetlin, hey, good morning. Oh, you said to, uh, to Cuba, Cuba. But I think that that's a pretty fair uh, fair solution. I think that's pretty. I I I would kind of personally I I'd be interested in it in that sense. You know, it doesn't sound too bad, right? Gaxix, yeah. Captain Jetlag, yeah, it's like it's like a school, right? You do homework. So you buy, let's say, tier tier two, which is thumbnailing and uh, design principles, etc. what you should think about when doing the thumbnails. And uh, you pay it, you get the class, right? Um, and uh, you have, let's say, I haven't really thought about all the details, but you know, there should be some sort of feedback, give and take, you know, maybe a X amount of um, rounds of feedback um, until you know you're you're happy, or maybe it's time, or I don't know. I haven't thought about that solution. I want you, I want the person like buying the class to to get what they want, right? And you have to put effort into it. But, I don't know, X amount of uploads or whatever, feedback rounds. Uh, and what was I gonna get to? Yeah, since so yeah, exactly, so like a course.
and I was thinking uh, like tier one the you know you don't take the class you can just support me uh, with whatever you want uh, but with that when you do you get you know like a pack of of, of files you know like uh, some PSDs of some illustrations you can walk through uh, and so on but um, but also my um, my uh, lecture the most recent lecture you know so that you you get the general idea of my class uh, as a presentation because that's what my presentation is is my my character design class more or less put into a presentation uh, so you can get kind of the general basics of my idea and if you buy uh, a tier you'll actually do the get it more kind of in-depth uh, one-to-one feedback that's that's where I am at the moment but I'm not sure maybe it's a, I have to plan it a little bit better and see if someone is interested cool all right I might I might do go that route then if you guys seem to be happy with the idea I think that's that might be my 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 uh, I kind of like the idea. I can see, I can see it like being uh, something I would be interested in. Starting out, you know, like you don't need a huge um, like uh, down payment like these online schools, right? Because they demand you to pay. A lot of money and you have to do the whole course in a go right um, there's no option to to take a break right you just have to do them constantly so I was thinking you know that would be would be pretty cool you know that you can just buy a one tier you know you'll you'll have like maybe a week or two um, of having to do some work like put some effort in and then you can take a break, you know, or do the do the homework again or whatever, uh, ruminate on it or, or, or you know whatever you want to do. Then when you feel ready, you can get the next tier, and uh, and you can take it from there. I think that, that that's a pretty fair fair idea. You know, doesn't make force you to do anything that you don't want, and I think me as a younger uh, person starting to learn I think that would be a cool idea to to learn from someone um, further ahead and you can take it at your own pace more or less um, I think that's pretty it's a pretty decent deal Uh, Captain Jetlag, it, it it can be, but I think I think there's have to be spots, right? So it's not like five hundred people, uh, but you know, like a class of people, and you do recorded feedback. <coughs> I think it would be easy, easily done. <laughs> but yeah, I think uh, I think that's a pretty pretty decent solution. But more on that um, when I figure more of how to do it out, because currently I have not ironed out all the all the parts, but. Uh,
but I, um, I'm glad you guys seem seem to like it. That's uh, all that's important. All right. <clears throat> I think this is it. Some creepy times up, anyways. That's it. <laughs> nice, Michal. Thanks, Caxis. Um, all right. Uh, have a great day. Good night for some of you, and um, see you tomorrow morning. Bye, everyone, and thanks for the topic, Linus. It was, uh, became a fun one. Um, all right. Bye.